No, no. So a few days ago, around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one week to be exact, one week ago, I got an email from my professor, piano professor, about a audition to a master class. I think a lot of you don't know, but I'm in a conservatory or conservatoire of music. Conservatoire de Musique de Montréal. I'm an official student there since last year. I took many auditions for the past four, three to four years, and I failed twice, and I got in the third time, which was last year. So this is my second year at the conservatoire. What is a conservatoire? I tell my friends that I'm in a conservatoire, and they go like, what? What is that? I actually didn't know by myself either, but it's like, for me, it was just like a school, like a school that you don't go every day like for your high school or elementary it's like a school where you go once in a while for me it's two to three times a week and it is concentrated on music on music or theater for me it's music instrumental classic piano but in the same conservatoire that i go they also do drama so like dramatic conservatoire de musique dr no Conservatoire de Art Dramatique de Montréal. So it's like two schools in one. Here's a little definition of what is a conservatoire. Conservatoire. I think that's how you say it in English. Conservatoire. I thought it was like con conservatory? Conservate. Anyways. A conservatoire. A conservatoire education focuses very much on practical learning and performances, whereas a university education tends to be more academic. In my conservatoire, there are levels from elementary schools high school of course to college and university so you can take your master's degree from it and i got in last year after failing two auditions so this conservatoire i have my personal class with my professor and i also take theory classes whereas my sister has to take much more classes as she is in college level and she decided to take double deck and what is a master class so yes i got an email from my professor about this audition it's like a tryout to a master class what is a master class master class is for advanced students to take classes with famous teachers or like some like those teachers that go all around the world so they will come and people want to see those teachers teach as well like a super famous pianist you want to know how they teach you want to know like the way they teach and you just want to see them right so there is master classes basically master class equals class in public you're playing the teacher's teaching you it's mostly a stranger like the teacher you don't know them it's like hi how are you yes thank you for teaching me and she's gonna teach you for the first time you're gonna show your piece that you have well really well practiced and then there's the audience depending on how famous that teacher is there will be more audience so basically if you make an error the audience is looking at you and when the teacher goes like okay play from here and you couldn't do it that's really embarrassing because all the public is just looking at you i don't know how those other kids doing the master classes are so good of course they're genius that's why they get chosen but the thing here is that i got this audition a chance for this audition to this master class i know that one of them was a japanese pianist that was pretty cool like if I got in, that means she's gonna teach me and she's Japanese. Audition class de maître. All right, Daniel Shapiro. That's one of the professor, it's a man. And Mari Kodama. Mari Kodama, Mari Katok. Anyways, she is a Japanese pianist. Pianist. A little bit of interruption, but 
that's okay. So, yes, Mari Kodama is a Japanese pianist. She's pretty famous, I think. And how old is she? I always search how old people are. 55. So, the piece I was going to play, it was the Chopin Etude. Chopin Etude, mm, opus 25, number 9. It is a Chopin Etude that is the shortest in the whole world. Which meant from that day on, I had to practice as much as I can, as hard as I can, so that I can take this chance of performing at the masterclass where people look at me, make mistakes and get critiqued by the teacher, by the professor. Okay, not teacher, professor. I always say teacher, it's not teacher, it's professor. It's professor, okay. And that was a terrific news because despite all my siblings, my professor chose me to do this audition, which is a privilege. A pr 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 privilege. Yes, it's a privilege. Pr privilege. Privilege. But then, at the same time, there was a terrible news. The thing is, I got this um, email on the 25th, and she was telling me that the first masterclass was on the 31st of October. What is that, guys? That is the Halloween! And yes, this year I have volunteered to many stuffs to participate. The preparations for the Halloween activities. And 31st of October is Halloween. And we have two periods after lunch, the whole afternoon of just activities, of Halloween activities. There's like haunted house, there is blood de goo, there is eating insects and which meant I was going to miss it if only and only if I got into the audition of course if I don't get chosen obviously I don't go so I'm not gonna miss my holiday I'm super happy that I got chosen for doing the audition but at the same time I don't want to miss my Halloween and yes Halloween is super important for me I was telling my teacher my French teacher oh miss I'm about to um you know miss the Halloween activity and she's like what are you talking about Stupid Halloween activity, you miss it, so what? Your biggest chance is to go and do the master class. Of course, it is. But somewhere in my heart, I wanted to do the Halloween activity. And so after days and hours of practicing that one single piece, this was how the audition went. All right, so right now it's around 9.45. I'll be leaving the house in around 30 minutes. The audition's at 12.10. Uh, my parents forced me to wear this, even if I'm pretty sure I won't get chosen. So. No, no. This person is going on audition with some uh, Mali, Mali, yeah, yeah. With uh, the other 20 year old uh, people. So basically, there is a little bit of possibility that I get chosen depending on what kind of level they're looking for. Because it said it will take two to three students for the master class. If they wanted like a variated level of students, they wouldn't want just professional 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 if ever they want it like a lower level to teach because the public is really coming to see not the student but the professor of course so yes there is a little bit of possibility that i get chosen wish me luck
this we have practice rooms in Kosovo. Let's practice. I just got kicked out by that guy. <laughs> I have no more plan of the practice. So the biggest question here is How well was the audition? Okay, let me be honest here I was not satisfied with how I performed Long story short, the practice rooms Like the practice rooms The piano in those practice rooms are old They are not in the best shape And I know this is like an excuse But the keys were he like How do you say it? Deep? Yes, deep When you press the key There's like a depth of how much the key goes down Practice rooms The keys are old they go all the way down for like, I don't know, I'm this thick But then, the piano I had to use for the audition Was like the angel voice Of course, the angel piano It sounds super good and the room is huge and really much condensed Condensed Do you say it condensed? Like, like you know, like conduction? Like the sound is really well trapped Anyways, the keys of the piano I had to use for the audition were super shallow, like like this much, or well, not even. It was so shallow. What that makes is that I missed many notes. Like it's not that I didn't press the right note, it's that I touched the note, but then the note does not make the sound. So there are many missing notes. It's not that I made a mistake, it's that the notes didn't make a sound. And that is a big problem, especially a faster piece like this one. And it has to be really piano, meaning really light, like light sound, and like these tiny, tiny sounds. Not too loud, just like really low and fast and rhythmic. You have to get all your notes, otherwise it sounds not good. And that's what happened to me. It is my fault, but you know, I wish I can practice with the real piano that I'm going to perform with. Like, it's the same thing with concerts or competitions. I wish I can practice with the piano that I'm going to play. Otherwise, there's no much meaning of warm-up. Warm-up it is to warm up your fingers so that you can articulate on, like, the, the real performance. But then you also need to know the piano. You have to know how well the keys respond, how fast you can control it, how well you can control it. And the depths of the keys, how heavy the keys are I just think the system is not always the best Practicing with piano that are terrible is also not a good thing So now we're at the most epic part The result, the result of the audition was posted on the exact same day in the evening I was not chosen.
I mean, I get it. My level was not as high enough. Of course, like the other competitors, the other participants, some of them were over 20 years old. Like, only a few of them were under 20, I think, like 17, 14. To be honest, I think I was definitely the youngest one. <laughs> and let me tell you, I saw the name list of the people that were chosen, and they were all above 20. Like, age, I mean. Yes, and I was not chosen. Neither were other people that were under 20. Like, teenagers. Teenagers weren't chosen. I don't think so. As long as I know. Teenagers weren't chosen. So it's not only me. It was sad. Of course, I didn't get in. But... Which also meant I could do my Halloween activity. At this point, I didn't really care anymore. I mean... I guess I get to enjoy my Halloween. But it doesn't really matter the result. The fact that I was chosen from my professor is already a kind of pride. I should be proud of myself for being chosen from her students. And I should appreciate that. That was my first time getting chosen for an audition to a master class. Yay! Which meant, yes, I got to go to my Halloween activity, which is not too bad. That's it for this video, and let's end it. Where's another riddle? Today's riddle is... What can you catch, but not throw? A cold. Anyways, that was a great experience for me, and... Again, but the result doesn't really matter. It was a great experience for me and wish to get another one of these chances.